What's up guys, Saffron here. How you doing? Uh, today I'm going to uh, do my update uh, for our challenge, uh, Travis and I's challenge. Um, to introduce myself, my name is Saffron, for those of you who are new to uh, seeing these videos. And uh, we are actually doing a challenge to see who can collect all the uniques. Um, so we're doing it for six months. Um, so we're kind of excited to see how this uh, turns out, and it'll be exciting uh, for everybody to see how many uniques everybody's getting, I guess. Um, got a little point system going, but that'll be explained later. Um, in this video, I kind of wanted to show off uh, where I was at um, and plans for the future and see how everything was going. Uh, first of all, though, I wanted to apologize for last week. I know we uh, we didn't uh, both Travis and I both didn't do a video. Um, holidays are crazy. I also barely had any time to even sit down to do anything. <laughs> so um, having an update video kind of seemed kind of silly because the first week that we did it was pretty much when holidays slammed into everybody. So um, I think you'll be surprised with how many extra more uniques that you haven't seen before. Um, upgrades you that are made be new that you haven't seen um, if you've been following on Twitch. Uh, I appreciate you coming to check things out, uh, but uh, you, uh, you'll be seeing some new stuff as well. So I did stream a little bit today. Unfortunately, my computer kind of crashed, so I got it up and running again, but I wanted to make this video um, to kind of make sure that I had a video for tomorrow. So uh, first things first, I wanted to uh, bring up a very cool thing that happened, and that is uh, the uh, awesome victory of a yellow elder kill. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and play that and kind of talk over the uh, the footage as it goes. So you'll see me um, kind of go in there. It's not a very long video at all, um, but going in there, I just immediately start trying to stack him, but he's already attacking me, so I'm kind of like, oh man. Um, so I start spamming flasks uncontrollably, and uh, I get frozen, and, and then I'm like, oh man, and then I didn't know what to do, and then an explosion happened, and I died. So it was just a mechanic that I didn't avoid correctly, which forced me to go all the way back to Oriath, and that took an entirely too long for how uh, for how much um, damage I was doing. Like the only thing I had to do was stand in the circle, and it was like, dang, I missed it. I missed it by this much. Um, but other than that, uh, it seemed to turn out pretty pretty well as a good fight. And uh, I'm excited to uh, show you the end of this because I was talking to Travis in the chat because he was checking it out, and I was dead tired. Like it was 11 o'clock today, and oh man, I was dead so tired. So I run over here, I jump back in, and then this is the part where I have to uh, save the shaper. Um, and at first I was kind of like, okay, I know I have to save the shaper, so all I have to do is, like, there was many traps out, which is why I was kind of freaking out, because of having to go all the way back to Orient, because I wasn't sure that this instant point was would start without me. So, um, I'm kind of glad it d didn't start without me, because that would have been really detrimental, because I was already freaking out. Um, but the portals are fairly easy with, with the traps. Um, I feel pretty strong as a character, uh, since I found a six link, even though it didn't really do a whole lot for arc itself. Um, but the fact that it boosted the lightning spire trap, um, it makes a world of difference because I can just throw it out in like a huge pack of enemies. Like this, for instance. See, like I'm throwing it to the right uh, to make sure that my uh, I'm not getting damaged from that side, um, or the shaper's not getting damaged from that side. It's just really useful trap style um, defense, I guess. Um, and it seemed to work 
pretty well in this fight and I think it'll work pretty well as a strategy overall um, but once I saved the shaper uh, I was kind of nervous because I was like oh I don't want to die at this point like I don't want to be in a weird spot where I'm gonna die and then he started pulsing so I was like oh do I have to kill him right now so um, I was very excited that that's the way it was and I didn't want to like get caught in this again so I was like oh no and I waited for it to blow and that is when I learned how to dodge that particular mechanic and running with Zana and boom cool drops and then I got the assassins nips and I was kinda bummed I was like man I really really needed a shimmer on and I know it's a rare, rare drop for yellow uh, elder but um, for it being my first elder I was I would have been stoked I would have been like super super excited if that's how that worked um, but here's the stats uh, 45 dexterity evasion energy shield um, per item uh, elder item equipped it's extra damage so I mean it's it's a pretty cool item um, overall but yeah uh, I'm, I'm really excited about how that kind of turned out because it was kind of like a learning experience and now I've already got some of it set up again so once I have these maps here um, I guess I don't really need them I just need to spread the elder a little bit so like I'll, I have a cemetery map I can run um, and that will take care of one of those functions. Um, I have to go in and do some more on Breathing Queen and all that kind of stuff because See you soon. I need a couple more pieces for the Pale Council. I would love to do the Pale Council. I think the Pale, Pale Council would be a cool fight. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about some gear. Uh, the gear that I'm using right now. I actually have two Divinarius uh, Imperial Skeens and they're not qualityed all the way up because I obviously didn't collect enough um, armors. I didn't think I was going to go daggers, uh, but uh, eventually it will go Shimmeron, so back to wands. Um, but uh, I have the wrong enchant on the helmet too, uh, which is kind of annoying, but after all, it's not too bad. I did find this six, this six link, and then I was, was doing a uh, Betrayal League mechanic and it had a uh, quality upgrade for 20 per 28 percent uh, to armor so I was like oh yeah like and I just happened to have this six link that I just found um, so that was nice so I'm excited to kind of show this off um, I have a 21 20 added lightning damage to support I know it's better to have the 23 percent uh, but I'm fairly happy with how that corrupted Lightning penetration's almost there. Controlled destruction's almost there. I'm not worried about uh, concentrated effect right now, uh, but my lightning spire did do the correct thing. It did 2120, so I'm really excited about how powerful that is. Level 20. I'm not worried about this this particular gem either. Uh, elemental focus. I could guess I could try and corrupt my arc. I'm still using that uh, vault arc, and then I have the vault uh, arc uh, trap that throws out it's it's its range is ridiculous with these uh, imperial skeins uh, flame dash is linked with faster casting and arcane surge um, lord arcane surge this is leveled down to level eight uh, due to uh, me wanting to have that uh, effect every time basically I would use three charges um, to give myself extra damage to get away so to speak uh, let's let's see. I need a new Stygian Vice. I want to have Tri-Res and Max Life like everyone else, of course. Um, but then I want to add a uh, Flask Effect like this has on it. It would be really, really helpful. Um, I also need to up the value of the jewel that I have. So like I have this new jewel right here, but it's for swords. So it doesn't quite qualify for a skein. It's a dagger. So um, that kind of stinks. But uh, I'm also looking for new rings and a new amulet. Basically, you know, all the tr struggles of uh, Solo Cell found <laughs> wrapped into one. Uh, but this is the other one, uh, the other Imperial Skeen, uh, 88 instead of the 97. Um, 
but I have conductivity and blasphemy, so that's how I'm getting the conductivity curse going. Uh, I also have wrath, which I will be corrupting. I have it also in this, uh, where is it? In this side, that's the same, pretty much, and uh, I'll be corrupting both of them to see which one comes out best. I have another arc in here too for when I get a temple that gives me a um, corruptible um, uh, corrupt up, you know, gem or whatever it is. I think it's the third tier of the thermaturgical room, I think is what it's called. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of these that are ready to like be evolved, but I'm just kind of holding off just because. Um, Calling Strike is temporary. This is one that's kind of like, eh, not quite correct, but it works. I'm supposed to have Enduring Cry in here. Um, or I'm supposed to have Enduring Cry in here instead of Bear Trap. Uh, calling Strike is okay, I guess. But uh, not having a third red is kind of detrimental, I guess. Um, I wonder if I can have three. So let's take this stuff out and go all the way down. At least, no, I can only have at least two red sockets. Three red sockets, woo! Okay, so there's that. And phase run. Nice! Okay, so now we are actually in a better spot. Cool. I got lucky. <laughs> Check it out. Video. Woo! Hi, YouTube. Anyways, um, to kind of go over the rest of the uh, the plans for the build, uh, the only thing I have left to do is collect these three nodes for the tree that I've created. Um, or I haven't created. I'm following a guide. I am following a guide. And I... Uh, it's it's a uh, angry uh, the angry guy <laughs> he always has a red tint in his in his videos anyways um he is awesome love that dude i will put his video in the description uh even though his name is eluding me i'm so sorry um uh but yeah he uh, suggests that the vi the leveling process is done by level 91 and i'm level 89 just died so and my headset just died so uh, I'm gonna have to make this quick so as I was so rudely interrupted by my microphone dying and uh, I was putting this video together or trying to put this video together the uh, mic decided to be grumpy so um, unfortunately I'll have to come back and uh, do a little bit over again um, but the last thing I was showing you was uh, the uh, the skill tree, and the only thing I have to do is uh, add this lightning damage. That's it, and the tree would be complete. So my my uh, continuation, I guess, is going to be either through this jewel socket or uh, through like I don't think I need a whole lot of mana leech, um, but I might explore uh, the potential of some mana up here so I might like go and give, grab this socket and maybe static I guess this right here these would be good maybe go up here I don't know um, there's a lot of options I can look at but I think I'm think I'm settling on the jewel sockets because I can do a, ver a variety of different things with them um, since I only have one here right now uh, hopefully I can make it happen <laughs> here soon. Uh, I keep dying, so it's a little frustrating. Um, as far as what else I needed to show you guys, um, uh, betrayal thoughts. Uh, if I can open it up again, here we go. Uh, so the only ones I'm looking at right now are Jorgen, Rin, and Gravicious, and they all need them in intervention, and it's so I can complete uh, the challenges that I have to do. Um, for the uh, gilded scarabs and stuff like that. So if I can get those three in there at level or at their uh, general rank, then um, I'll do the safe house. It'll be golden 
can get all the gilded scarabs I need. So after that, it'll just be safe house after safe house after safe house after safe house, safe house if I can. Um, and then uh, we have a couple of things to upgrade as far as um, my temple is concerned. So I'll give you a quick glance at that. Um, just started that over. Uh, got a bunch of um, cool things happening with the chart, it looks like. Um, so right now I'm sitting at depth uh, 108, so I'm getting closer and closer to that uh, 270 mark. Um, so that's how that Blessings. goes with everything else. Um, as far as the challenge goes for the Uniques with uh, Travis and I, um, it's everything's going pretty well. I have a maximum number of 220 or 265 Uniques. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, showcase this one real quick. Um, if you guys have never seen this before, um, Prism Guardian is pretty neat. It makes your Aureas cost life, but it's very little life. Um, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, Mutant Pendant I might use with my uh, Nightmare uh, Bassinet Helmet once I get it. Um, I did collect a divination card for that uh, earlier today. The other, one, the other one I wanted to show off was uh, the Jack. Um, I thought I jacked the axe. It's a pretty cool looking barbaric axe. Um, there we go. Um, all the others are fairly, uh, I think I've shown off quite a few of them. Uh, some of the mana flasks are neat. Um, here's my doubles. Uh, so I have quite a few there. Um, I'm sorry if my face is like right here, but oh well, I have it covered up, I guess. Um, So I have these um, maps to go, and then uh, here are some of the uh, accessories that I have. I have this ring counted in here, um, in this number, so it helps me keep track. Um, other than that, like we have quite a few very cool uh, uniques that we can kind of show off. Um, so just a quick glance. Um, as far as the atlas goes, um, I'm trying to do all the dailies I can. Um, I just uh, did a yellow other like I showed you, um, but and we're trying to spawn another one. It looks like we just got it in a pretty decent spot to try and get another yellow elder. Um, so that'll be kind of the next step, I guess. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy um, this content and come check Travis and I out at, uh, um, you know, the usual uh the usual time uh for him usually is in the morning uh from 7 a.m to 7 p.m he's usually um gaming around and then uh um uh, oops my bad ah So at the end of the, d uh, he he normally starts to stream at uh, like early in the morning from 7 a.m. Pretty m as early as 7 a.m. Normally he's like 9 a.m. or something like that. Um, and then for me it's 10 p.m. until the early hours of the hours of the morning. So hopefully you guys can uh, join us from then on, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. As you guys can see, I was doing a little bit of research, but uh, have a good day. <laughs>